two, provide a personalised budget for participants, and test young people having more control and choice in the support available to them. This phase is also supported by mobile phone web based applications uh, in this world of technology, which are going to make a big difference to young people. Uh, members are requested to welcome the award from the National Youth Contract Underspend program. Uh, additionally, delegated authority saw from the strategic director, regeneration and environment, uh, in consultation with the head of legal and member services, to accept one from Nosley Council, commence a competitive procurement uh, procedure and subsequently appoint a supplier, as I said earlier, to deliver this program in Wirral on behalf of the Council. Just to finish, uh, members are also requested, this is an important point here, to waive the calling period for this report to enable the procurement procedure to, to commence delivery in Wirral uh, at the start of this financial year. Um, it's important that it, it does start as quickly as possible, obviously, and that, that's the reason for that. Finally, as required, as, as a requirement of funding, the Council is required to secure additional European funds to, it, to add to the program. An organisation is sought for the Strategic Director of Regeneration <coughs> and Environment uh, to submit a bid and subject to a successful application and accept the funds. This will make a big difference as well if we can bring in European funding to to the, um, the programme itself. Uh, just lastly, the bid, and it's important, but the bid was informed uh, uh, by the Youth Fund Employment Task Force, which was led by this council um, across the city region and was successful over, this, over a three year period of halving youth fund employment across the city region, which is no easy feat at all. And I think this, and, and if, we're, if we're successful with the European funding, will add greatly to that help. Uh, the reasons I've outlined, I ask members to accept the recommendations set out at the end of the year. Okay, thanks, Pat. Uh, can I say how pleased I am? You know, this is a really good, good um, outcome. Um, you know, the fact that we've secured 5.9 million um, from the new national youth contract on the spend program, with additional money from Europe um, likely to flow uh, to uh, to this program, is great. I think it just underlines the strength we've got uh, within the city region as exemplified by our, our left and our combined authority, which I have the kind of honour of sharing. So I think that's, that's a really good outcome. And, and, and you know, we signed a growth deal uh, with the Minister yesterday, uh, one of the best growth deals in the country. So I think we can all be proud uh, of that as we're all and as a city region. Um, so well done to everybody involved. Um, I have to just uh, add uh, a little bit to your recommendation, Pat, because on the, the waiving of calling, I just have to ask the Chief Executive would he agree to that? Uh, question. Yes, yes, good. Good. Okay, so with that, uh, can, we, can we agree those recommendations? Good. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Pat. Uh, right, on, on to um, final item, item 19. The Wirral Apprentice Programme Scrutiny Review, Pat. Yes, yeah, thank you, Chair. Uh, this is a report brought by the Chair of the Apprentice uh, Scrutiny Panel, Councillor Anita Leach, uh, detailing the Regeneration and Environment uh, Policy and Performance Committee endorsement of the panel's findings a recommendation for the Council's Wirral Apprentice Programme. Um, as we've seen from uh, a bit of background. The Apprentice Screening Panel was set up by the Regeneration and Environmental Policy and Performance Committee in September 2013 to consider the effectiveness of the World Apprentice Program. Um, as I said, the panel was chaired by Chancellor Anita Leach. Did you just say yes? <laughs> <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> you, you, you were up all my writing. Right.